Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a show and tell that a few of you viewers have asked for. You've noticed me wearing a certain bit of kit and you've wondered, what about that bit of kit? And what you've been asking about is this right here. My hip pack or fanny pack. Okay, I don't want any shenanigans from our watchers in the UK. We call it a fanny pack here and no one snorks or giggles or has church giggles. Just get over it. And I know, like, Wonder Woman 1984 is making fun of, like, even Chris Pine doesn't look cool when he puts on a fanny pack. I must admit, I was a fanny pack wearer back in the 90s, but COVID has necessitated the use of this and it happens to have been designed by my friend Tom Sachs. You'll notice the Telltale 10 bullets put out by Z-Pax. Um, this is made of Dyneema. I've been beating the hell out of it and uh, it's phenomenal. I really, really dig it. And here's one of the reasons I started wearing it. Forever, the weather in San Francisco has been remarkably consistent. It's, it hovers between 55 and like 68 degrees year round. Sometimes it spends a few more days at 55 and some days it's up to seventies. You know, we all deal, but the consistency is one of the things those of us who have moved here find that we love about it. It's jacket weather all the time. You can always wear your favorite jacket and I have a jacket problem. I have, many, many, many jackets, and I like wearing them. Um, but for me, a jacket is not just a fashion thing, even though that's very much what it is. I also really utilize them. I have needs for all of the pockets, and I have a very specific pocket layout. Phone goes here, keys and flashlight go here. Uh, I don't put anything in my back pockets except for a lens cleaner for my glasses. Uh, and I think in the right back pocket is usually a uh, doggy poop bag because you never want to be out without one. Um, but I said that for years, San Francisco has been this consistent, but not lately, not for the past probably th three or three to five years. Uh, we started getting warm nights, which was weird because I'm here to tell you in the nineties and early aughts, warm nights happened like two days a year and everyone freaked out and was like amazed and like just the, the energy here in the mission on those nights was palpable. Now we're regularly getting like three, four months of warm nights in the Mission District. And it's a double-edged sword. It feels amazing. And it's happening because the world's ending, right? We're totally screwing up the atmosphere. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about why I'm wearing a fanny pack. And the reason is, is because of the inconsistent weather. We've been having these swings. For instance, right now it's about 50, just a little bit over 50 degrees outside. It's nippy. It's a nippy 50. But two weeks ago, it was in the 80s. And a month ago, it was like over 100 in some parts of San Francisco. Like it's crazy making. And the practical result of this is it's really hard to figure out what jacket to go out in. And I have, I have a, a, a kind of a roster of jackets I wear, but if I'm wearing like three or four jackets within the course of a day, because in the morning it's like in the forties and I got to put on the fire coat to go get coffee because it's so cold. And then in the afternoons, it's not so bad. So I'm maybe wearing a NASA coat or maybe a nice down jacket that's lightweight, but affords me the wind breakage. You know, these are decisions that I make all the time because I want to go out with my stuff on me. I got to have a wallet. I got to have, you know, the things that I need. And if I'm changing jackets multiple times a day, that is a recipe for me to not have what I need when I'm out in the world. Um, in fact, as I get older, it becomes more and more important for me as I get home to put everything where it goes. Shoes go right here. Jacket goes here. Mask goes there. Uh, you know, everything comes off in the same order. And that's how I keep order. That's how I keep myself like going okay. If I put something down in the wrong place, I'm gonna spend a day looking for it the next day. So a few weeks ago, Tom sent me this last year. Uh, we send each other 
one of everything that we make. Um, so he sent me this last year and said, you should really try it out. He talked to me about some of its features and I did not see the need or the necessity for it until the weather here got so weird that I just never knew what jacket I was gonna wear. So I stopped worrying about the jacket and I put all my critical, gotta leave the house, carry stuff in this. And then it doesn't matter what jacket I wear. And I don't ever wonder where my sunglasses or my wallet is. Yeah, so all that being said, that's why I'm wearing the fanny pack. It's really helping me out. Uh, and I'm gonna walk you through some of its features because it is a nice bit of kit. Um, again, like I said, it's uh, made for Tom Sachs by Z Packs. I have no idea of the availability of these. If it's like Tom's other stuff, they're not super available. And I'm sorry about that, but you asked, so I thought I'd show you. Um, the main feature that Tom loves the most about this is this guy this big pocket, which he calls the iPhone pocket. So this goes up against your, here we go. So this goes up against your body and the iPhone, hang on, I'm charging over here. The iPhone whoop, just drops right in there, really easy to get to. Now, I love the way he's thinking. The fact is my iPhone goes in the right front pocket. That's where they always go. So I don't utilize that pocket for that. I keep one of Tom's notebooks in there. Um, but it is a great pocket. Yeah, so uh, other features of this bag. So here's what I've got in here. A Stormtrooper card from a friend of mine. Some hearing aid batteries. Uh, the notebook, yep. Um, so that's the, that's the iPhone pocket. It's got a nice um, uh, 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 soft landing on your body. Um, here's a feature that Tom put in so much on purpose was that the clips, see this, there's no clip here. The clips exist where they're not touching you. So you don't ever have a hard clip on your body. And that never occurred to me as problematic when I used to wear fanny packs, but now that he's got it like this, I, I, I gotta say, I really like it. Uh, I also like these long tabs. I end up kind of adjusting it as I go. Um, per a classic Tom Sachs bag, got the little ceramic nodules around the zipper pulls, double zipper. So yep, keep my wallet in there. Um, ha. Huh. So I was, when I was traveling around the country, yeah, I kept my passport in there. Uh, here, let's dump this out. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? All right. We've got, oh, a broken spoon. So I don't need that. We've got a flashlight. I believe this is my Apollo replica built by Ryan Nagata, but uh, no, this isn't. This is uh, Luna Replicas. Um, we've got a Tom Sachs four color pen. Yep, yep. The space program logo on there. Yep. A uh, couple of my pencils. Uh, car holder for my phone. I can't tell you how important it is that this is always on me. I swear, I swear, I have pulled this out in random cars with friends, etc. Not obviously since COVID, I'm not getting into a lot of random cars, but frankly, just having one of these in my laptop bag all the time, super mission critical. Um, let's see, what else we got? We've got um, some spare change. I'll just put that in the jar and keep on hoarding it. That's the other part of the spoon. Another flashlight. This one's got uh, three modes, blinking mode, and it's got a magnet um, in this end so that it can stick to stuff, which is awesome. Why two flashlights? That's just the kind of guy I am. Um, and an assortment of some business cards and hotel room keys. One more penny. So inside, inside, there is a pen holder on the on the far left there. Um, and it houses, is it a Tom Sack Sharpie? No, I got one, I'll have to put it in there. Uh, so that's the pen holder and this is the notebook holder over here. I find it just a little bit too tight for the notebook. That's why while I was traveling around the country, I put my passport in there. Um, yep. And then, uh, yeah, I always have some flashlights on me. That's an excellent thing. That. Oh, oh, 
oh, oh, this, uh, a Lamy fountain pen. Uh, I was recently doing some pen research because I'm a little bit pen obsessive. And I came across this article that said, uh, this uh, uh, Lamy, 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 L-A-M-Y, I'll include a link. Uh, this Lamy fountain pen is the best fountain pen. And I thought, oh, I'd like the best fountain pen. Uh, and it's only like, I don't know, it's like 20 bucks. It's not that expensive. Yeah. Uh, and I will say that its line is delightful. I really, I really like its line. It's, it's a, it's very, very soft touch, which is quite nice. So I've been keeping that in there. Um, let's talk about improvements. Let's talk about a couple things that I would add. Um, I've been meaning to add a, uh, a, so when I'm opening and closing it, I want something to pull against. So I want to put a ring in here and here, but when I put metal, um, uh, keychain rings, they, they dinged against this. And I was like a cow with a bell, like ding, 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 ding. Constantly was driving me crazy. Um, so I might put a plastic ring in there. I think that's my only improvement. I think that's it. This is Dyneema, which means you can just toss it in the wash and it'll come out bright as day, brand new looking. That's fabulous. And yeah. Um, look, mostly the reason that I'm wearing this, I, I gave the whole jacket explanation earlier, but frankly, it's COVID brain. It's COVID brain. It is the fact that as I, as I move through my day, I can easily become unmoored by not having what I need around me. And because we're in the middle of this sort of grind where it's just every day is the same and we're not going out at night and we're not like differentiating our weeks and it's time dilation is really weird. Uh, it's really even more important to me that the systems I put in place to move through the world efficiently are, uh, are serving me correctly. And this, this hip pack, which also I like that it's got this boxy look to it. It's not trying to be something that's like physically conforming to me. And all I can think of is that shot from the Wonder Woman trailer in which Chris Pine looks just so intensely ridiculous with those parachute pants and that fanny pack. And yeah, I recognize some of you may feel like this is just a fashion no-no and I'm comfortable with that. Thank you guys for joining me for this long ass show and tell of the fanny pack you wanted to know about. Thanks, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you'd like to further support us on Tested, there are many ways you can do so. One is through paid membership, and there are several tiers of that, each with their own set of unique bonuses. You can follow the links below for that, or you can go to our merch store where we are always coming up with brand new products. In honor of the holidays, we've got our Tested Ugly sweater in both black and we have a white one. We have some brand new patches, and this is a particular type that I made a joke about one day, and now it's a reality. You know about merit badges. When you're a Cub Scout or a Boy Scout, you get a merit badge for achieving something. Well, Tested now has demerit badges for when you screw something up, because that's just as important in learning as getting something right. So this is the badge for when you measure something once and have to cut it twice. <laughs> this is the badge for when you accidentally hook up your electronics wrong and you release the mysterious blue smoke that powers them and they no longer work. And this one here is for when you get your finger caught in the lathe and it almost gets torn off. That might be quite me specific. I hope that never happens to you. These are all designed by Tested's own Jen Schachter and they are not the only patches we're gonna release. In fact, these are just the beginning. If you have ideas for demerit badges that we should release, we'd love to hear them. We also still have our regular complement of posters and they're all back in stock, including my hand-drawn toolboxes, I love seeing pictures you guys send us of these hanging in your maker spaces and your offices, your man caves and your sheds around the world. Get to the store, follow the links below, and hey, some of these might make great Christmas presents for the makers in your life. Thanks you guys, happy holidays.